Are you ready to start on a new journey? This journey will be one of the many and moon will guide you on your path. It will all start with the new moon. In the darkness and the silence of the night, you will go deep inside your labyrinth because you, only you can listen to your truth. No worries. On the way, you will have the support of the moon and the sun, as always. So let's start, shall we? What happens on a new moon and what are new moon rituals for? As written in NASA Science Space Place, on Earth, our view of the illuminated part of the moon changes each night, depending on where the moon is in its orbit or path around Earth. When we have a full view of completely illuminated side of the moon, that phase is known as a full moon. But following the night of each full moon, as the moon orbits around Earth, we start to see less of the moon lit by the sun. Eventually, the moon reaches a point in its orbit when we don't see any of the moon illuminated. At that point, the far side of the moon is facing the sun. This phase is called a new moon. During the new moon, the side facing Earth is dark. As you already know that according to my perception, what we see with our eyes is just one side of reality. There is another reality level in the symbolic field. Don't you think that the moon is a great symbol of this perception as well? So what happens in the new moon spiritually is, we are let alone in the darkness and silence of the night. So go deeper inside to start a new journey. What rituals to do on the new moon? The new moon is a time for new beginnings, a fresh start and a blank page. Especially if you are following moon phases as a cycle, since the waning gibbous phase of the moon, you will slowly start to close the circle. It is time for gratitude in waning gibbous, then releasing, letting go and forgiving the last quarter and finally surrender, rest and recuperate in waning crescent so you will be fresh for a new start in new moon time. If this is your case, then I will recommend, recommend you some new moon rituals. How to do new moon ritual? First, prepare yourself for a new start. Imagine meeting with your boyfriend in the first few days. Be excited and get ready. This is a new start, a new beginning. Take a nice bath. Wear nice clothes, maybe some makeup, some jewelry, and a nice smell. Whatever you feel like, but get prepared for your inner journey. Number two, prepare your sacred space for a new start. For me, creating sacred space is a must, which would hold space for me. A safe space where I can be vulnerable and go inner journeys. If you do not have a sacred space, you can consider creating one. If you already have one, you can tidy and refresh the energy of your sacred space, your altar, your meditation room, or your office. Number three, prepare your ritual place. Get ready for a ritual by burning a sage, some candles, some fresh flowers, nice tea. Let your intuition guide you. Number four, open your ritual circle. Maybe you can open the circle from yourself to yourself with a nice song that you sing or that you play or reading a poem or a prayer or getting a card from your deck as an example of a new moon prayer tonight i enter the sacred space of my heart i go deep within the sacred sanctuary of my soul i close my eyes and ask for the answers that i seek i pray for divine guidance as to my direction in life and ask for the courage and love to follow the path of my heart. Number five, be grounded and come here and now. You can meditate or simply focus on your breath for several minutes. If you can do this outside in nature, even better, tune in with the moon. Number six, go deep inside yourself in the silence and darkness of the new moon. You can do a shamanic journey or journaling or meditate with a question in mind. The question is, what are your intentions for the upcoming moon cycle that your soul is longing for and your mind is looking for and your body is waiting for? 
try to be free from self-doubt and fear. Contemplating that can support our choices of love. So you can ask an additional question to yourself as this will be the last month of your life what you would want to do. Number 7. Come back from the journey and write down your intentions. Write down simply your intentions for the upcoming month and put it to your sacred space, maybe with a crystal. Number 8. Close your circle with gratitude and surrender. You can close your circle by expressing your gratitude for life and putting your intention about making your best with love for the upcoming month and besides that surrendering to what life will bring to you. At the end of the circle, to close, you can read some affirmations for the new moon. Such as, I am aligned with the universe. My life is overflowing with limitless potential. I invite abundance and prosperity into my life. I am divinely supported. My dreams and desires effortlessly manifest into the now. I am beginning a new and exciting path. My world has an abundance of love, trust and compassion. Gratitude vibrates in every cell of my body. I believe that anything is possible. I trust my journey. I invite new ways of thinking in my life. I open myself to my highest good. I reclaim my power and embrace new beginnings. I shine my light with ease. I allow love to fill me. I am gentle with myself and compassionate with others. I have the power to shape my reality. What are new moon rituals? How to do a new moon manifestation? If you are a believer in manifesting your dreams and getting the help of the universe, the new moon is a great time to start that. You can go through the ritual phases that I have talked or simply a variation of it. Let's see. Release. Take a bath or shower. Let your worries wash away. Set your space. Light a candle and set up any crystals, feathers, flowers or herbs. Groan. Meditate or breathe deeply for 5 or 10 minutes. Connect. Call in the power of the earth and the moon to bless and protect. Manifest. Write down your intentions. Fold and store in a safe place with a crystal for the entire moon cycle. Close the ceremony. Check back in at the end of the moon cycle. Nemo rituals for letting go. If you are not following the moon cycles and rituals for each phase, then you can adapt this ritual according to your needs. Let's say, on the day of the new moon, if you feel like releasing and letting go, do some rituals for letting go. Or if you feel surrender and forgiveness, then it's time for you to do some forgiveness ritual. The main point here is the moon is guiding you, but you are the hero of this journey. You are the Isis that will give birth to Horus alone in a way even though you will have the support of Sun God Amandra and Moon God Thoth, as you can see in another video. So if you need a letting go ritual for the new moon, you can follow this, these steps. Take a bath and wash away all your worries. Ground and connect by breathing and meditating, writing what you want to let go of. Say thanks to all the lessons you learned and express that it's time for these energies to let go and simply burn the paper. Cleansing prayer. I'm now choosing to cleanse myself and release all thought forms, beings, situations and energies. Those are no longer of service to my highest and greatest good. Across all planes of my existence, across all universe and all lifetimes, I ask that all energies that are less than love be transmuted for the highest good of all. And so it is. And what do you eat on a new moon? In all spiritual paths, fasting has been an important ingredient. So as a new moon is a start of a circular path, one can fast in a new moon. There is a diet called the moon diet or lunar diet which consists of simple 24-hour water or juice fast during the full moon and new moon phases. Adding a fasting practice to your moon cycle can be a nice idea. 
as it will make you more present and prepared for the new beginning and clean the body. You can listen your intuition about what to eat on a new moon. Maybe intermittent fasting can also be a choice. New moon versus full moon rituals. The new moon is the start of a journey. And the full moon is the place where the hero of the journey gets the full reflection of the sun and that the creative source just reflects via the hero. For this to occur, one needs to start a journey. And life is full of journeys. One is finishing and the other one is starting. If you would like to know about full moon rituals, you can check our another video. So moon sun and earth all together are providing us a great symbolism they are showing that we are never alone we have the support of the sun and guidance of the moon but we humans living in this terra planet we are the heroes the ones who will start the journey to receive this guidance so listen to your deeper truths and let the moon guide you so that you can shine like stars. Have a great day and see you around. If you like the video, do not forget to click the like button. And to get more information about rituals, creating your sacred space and the journey of being you, do not forget to subscribe. Again, see you around.